Neurosurgery is a medical specialty concerned with the prevention, diagnosis, treatment and rehabilitation of disorders that affect the entire nervous system including the brain and the spinal cord. Kenya, however, has a serious shortage of specialists who can deal with such illnesses. There are only 13 qualified neurosurgeons in the entire country. We do have a huge burden of brain tumors. As a matter of fact, brain tumors are some of the commonest tumors in human beings. So if you thought about uh, Kenya, you'd need to have probably 160 or 200 neurosurgeons at least to handle the 40 million. The shortage of specialists is a serious concern considering the number of deaths caused by neurosurgical illnesses. In some of the studies we did uh, a few years ago, we found out that the head injury alone Right? Head injury alone kills 56% of the patients with severe head injury will die after 24 hours. And yet our service, we are not able to uh, deal with these head injuries in our public hospitals within 24 hours. Many of the conditions that affect people in the world are neurosurgical stroke, head and spine trauma, tumors, hydrocephalus in children we're realizing that these are very serious public health problems. It's the reason the World Federation of Neurosurgical Society organized a training program here in Nairobi to encourage African students to pursue this field. 18 students are currently taking the course at the University of Nairobi at a cost of 215,000 shillings per year. Dr. Shutsama Nyamwea, one of the participants of the lectures attended by top neurosurgeons around the world, is a third-year student. She will be Kenya's first female neurosurgeon. To her, this is the most fulfilling career. My motivation is the fact that when I finish, the patient will be able to walk home and go home. You know, a patient who had been deemed to will die, but after the operation, you know, after you relieved pressure, you've, you've given the patient another chance is what fulfills me. It's a field, though, which seems to get unpopular as students progress to the higher education levels. It's in the news all the time. Oh, I have finished, I have 430 marks, 428 marks. I want to be a neurosurgeon. Where do we lose these kids? But there are hurdles that stand in the way of students hoping to pursue a career in neurosurgery. Currently, there is capacity to train only three students per year. You cannot train like 30 people in, uh, in one theater. It takes about five good years of just working in theater to be a very skilled uh, neurosurgeon. The equipment needed to train a good neurosurgeon is expensive equipment and invariably such equipment can only be found in the major teaching hospitals. Though treating the brain or the nervous system is a delicate affair that could cause paralysis or death at the slightest mistake, Dr. Shitsama seems to enjoy every bit of the course. It's not rocket science. It's simple, just understanding the brain and being able to see where the pathology is. Once you open, you're able to see where the problem is, you solve it, and you're done. Well, it's the coolest field there is. <laughs> but it is, I mean, it's, a, it's one that can engage your whole being because it's complicated. It has to do with the most delicate and wonderful organ in the body, right, the brain, how you manipulate that and how you can safely help somebody who has a brain problem. So it is challenging, but it's like, you know, outer space, it's just fabulous. For now, 40 million Kenyans will continue relying on these countable neurosurgeons who are struggling to cope with the increasing pressure of stroke, spinal cord problems, brain and head injuries that continue to flood Kenyan hospitals. Sylvia Chabit for Sunday Live.